Okay, so today we're going to look at how you can get back to the classic devices and printers panel in Windows 11. This is very, very easy. It doesn't require any file changes or any registry entries or edits. An absolute novice can do it. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So one thing that you probably found is in Windows 11, they have changed the devices and printers. So when you go into devices and printers now, it doesn't look like it used to. And I don't know about you, I just don't like it. So let's just go into control panel. So. I'm just going to click on the start button and then type the word control, click on control panel and you might have this layout here or you might have the category layout or you might have the small icons layout. Now, depending on what layout you have depends on where you click. So if you've got the category layout there, you click on view devices and printers. If you've got the small or the large icons layout, you click on devices and printers. Now, instead of taking you to the old classic control panel window, it now takes you to this new UI marked Bluetooth and devices. And if we click on printers and scanners, you will see this here. Now, I can't stand it. I really can't stand it. So how do you get back to the normal classic Windows devices and printers? So what you want to do is just go into one of the printers you've got set up. If you haven't got a printer set up already, then hopefully you should have fax. So you can click on that and then just click on more devices and printers settings. Click on that and there it comes. It comes up with the old version of all your devices and all of your printers with all your good old fashioned menus there. Now, what if you want to add a new device or printer from this list here? Now, obviously, on the old version of Windows, you had a new button up there, which you could click on. You don't here. So all you do is just move your mouse over any blank area of this window, click on the right mouse button, you'll get this menu come up, left click show more options. And then here you go, you've got an option there, add devices and printers, you can click on that, and you get the good old fashioned add a device just there, which you can follow as you ever did. Now, what if you want to keep this as a permanent feature on your windows? Let's just close these windows down. What you can do is you can put a shortcut on your desktop. I have done a video about this before. I'm going to go over it again. So click on the right mouse button on any part of a blank area of the desktop, a part of the area which you don't have any icons on and then go down to new and then go across and up and left click once on shortcut. And then here you need to type in a command. Now, don't worry, I'm going to paste this command in the description of the video. So if you need to, you can copy and paste it. Um, but it's essentially typing in this command here as I'm typing just now. And you have to make sure that you copy this correctly because one little mistake and you could cause a massive problem with your machine. So uh, it is obviously case sensitive as well. So all the letters do need to be in uppercase. And once you've typed this in, then please do make sure that you double check it, you triple check it, you quadruple check it. Make sure that it's 100% right, because if you get anything wrong, then you could find that you could end up trashing your system or opening a window that, quite frankly, you didn't really know you needed to open. So let's just read that out. So explorer.exe space shell and then three colons and then you've got the open parenthesis a8a91a66 hyphen 3a7d hyphen 4424 hyphen 8d24 hyphen 0 that's a 0 not an o 
4E180695C7A and then close parenthesis. So just obviously make sure that you have typed this correctly because like I say, if you typed it slightly wrong, then you will find that you could be in absolute trouble here. Worst case scenario, you could completely trash your system and it may not boot. So best case scenario, it just comes up with an error message. OK, so once you've triple checked this and made sure that it is correct, then click on the next button. And then here it says type a name for this shortcut. And what we want to do is we want just want to call this devices and printers, just as I've done. You can call it something different. It doesn't really matter what you call it. In actual fact, I've left the caps lock on. So let's just type that in again, devices and printers, and then just press enter. And there we go. We've got a little shortcut on the desktop there. And if I double click on that, then devices and printers come straight up, the classic version. And if I want to go a step further, I can change the icon. So just this is optional. Just move your mouse over the icon, the yellow icon that you just created. Click on the right mouse button, then left click show more options. Click on properties just down the bottom there. Click on change icon and then all you need to do is just click on the picture of the printer just there and then click OK, click OK again. And there we go. It's now giving you a nice little printer icon just above devices and printers. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. If you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. I've got loads of great links down there for you. If you're looking to have a look through my Amazon shop, looking for a VPN, Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, we've got loads of great deals down there for you. Buy in, subscribe in and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you.